The Thai government declared Thursday it had mostly quelled 10 weeks of sometimes violent protests in the capital. Still, a bank branch was set on fire, the first reported arson attack after 39 buildings around Bangkok, including the stock exchange, other banks and a cinema complex, were torched the day before. In the morning, firefighters still had been putting out burning embers at the Central World Mall, the city's biggest shopping center. Troops also were working to root out small pockets of resistance among red-shirt anti-government protesters. Some were having to defuse what appeared to be homemade bombs that demonstrators left behind. A special police unit had led more than a thousand people away from a Buddhist temple in the heart of the zone that the red shirts had controlled for weeks. Six bodies were found on the grounds. Some of those who'd been sheltering there, like protester Sali Sagota, remained defiant. We are the winner now for all, all of the world. We are the winner. They know what is true, what is real. No, we not lose. We never lose. You can stand up again someday. But many of the women cried out and clung to each other as they were let out, fearing they'd be jailed or abused by police. Three more red shirt leaders surrendered to authorities Thursday. The five who turned themselves in the day before having been flown to a military camp south of Bangkok for interrogation. Weera Muzigapong pleaded for an end to violent confrontation. I'd like to ask all sides to calm down and talk to each other in a peaceful manner. Please control your anger. We cannot create democracy with anger. Residents have been hoping for a return to routine daily life. But with the fresh arson attack, sporadic gunfire, and an extension of a nighttime curfew in Bangkok and 23 other provinces, it didn't appear conditions would be back to normal in Thailand anytime soon. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.